I really think that the serenity houses are magical because we kind of think about what the addict would need individually. Like someone might not have a license, we help them get their license back. Someone might want to go to college, we help them get into college. We kind of take them where they are now if they've lost their kids. We help them get their kids back. Um, that's the goal. We set short-term and long-term goals, and we try and give them steps of how to achieve those goals. And, you know, the, the ultimate goal is to get them out living in society with full-time employment and self-supporting. My name is Kimberly, and my clean date is November 15th. My name's Diane and my clean date is December 1st of 2006. My name is Jim and my clean date was December 12th. My name is Washansa and my clean date is December 4th, 2007. My name is Allison, my clean date is September 1st, 2011. Before I came here, I, um, I was a mess, I was broken. I was to the point where my kids were taken away and I had nowhere to live. I didn't really have any friends, family anything no one it got to the point where I had everything I owned in two suitcases and I was sleeping outside and had no clue where I was gonna go I was losing everything I had um, everything I ever loved I had my child we used to uh, struggle a lot he's in and out of my life I relied on my family a lot my last night using I had spent uh, the entire night in an abandoned laundry room crying and praying until I couldn't cry anymore I had lost everything and everyone important to me <sighs> little did I know 24 hours later um, a new journey and a new life was to begin for me the serenity house had a bed available if I was ready and willing to be part of active recovery and I was I found out about the Serenity House in Jersey. So I was on the next flight here. And um, ever since I came off the plane, it was like I instantly had family. And this house has done so much for me. Um, I've got my daughter back, full custody, got my diaphus case closed. I've got my license back, I've got a car. It felt like open arms here. You, you come in and you meet other addicts and uh, you know we embrace each other and we help each other. I can honestly say that right now, I would probably not be sitting here if it wasn't for um, the Serenity House and the Handsome Foundation. The residents come in with family angry at them, the law looking for them, and just a stack of fines, debts, and everything to pay. So when they come in here, they get support that they need. We help them get a job. It takes a village to raise a child. And that's really what we're doing here. We're just trying to help them, give them the support and the structure that they need to live in a safe, sober environment where they don't have to worry about somebody coming home and, and getting high and something horrible happening. And we just try to keep it that way, where it's a, it's a home. It's a place where they come, they bond, they love each other, and they're here for each other. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It really is great how it works. Uh, it's just great.